You need to use either a paintbrush or paint roller whenever you paint something. You cannot skip them both and expect to paint smoothly. Although you have options to spray paint your paint surfaces, you still need to use any roller to paint those surfaces evenly. You will get two options or two types of paint roller in that case. One is 3 slash 8 inch paint roller and the other is a 1 slash 2 inch paint roller. If you know the differences between 3 slash 8 vs 1 slash 2 paint rollers, you will easily choose them and use them accordingly. It's not like you cannot interchange them, but you must know their usage to get a better paint finish. In today's video, I will show the difference between those two paint rollers and try to help you make a wise decision. I will also give you the best paint rollers you can consider using for painting. What is a 3 slash 8 paint roller? The paint roller with a 3 off 8 inch nap is currently the most popular choice for painting houses. This roller provides an excellent user experience and possesses several necessary forms. Every home needs to have a 3 off 8 inch paint roller to have a great painting on its wall. A paint roller with a 3 off 8 inch nap works particularly well on homes with surfaces that are only faintly textured. What is 1 slash 2 paint roller? The 1 slash 2 paint roller is yet another excellent option for giving your walls a natural appearance after being painted. In any case, this paint roller might not be the best option for use on all walls. The majority of walls with a medium texture come in various styles. Compared to a wall with a light texture, for example, paneling, concrete, or brick that has been painted as a far more significant visual impact. If this is the case, it is recommended that you use a sleeve paint roller with a one-off two setting because it does not release as many paintings at once. Thickness. If the nap of a paint roller is more substantial, it will be able to hold more paint. We are aware that the more uneven surface calls for a roller with a substantial thickness. The thickness of the three-off eight nap roller is more than that of the one-off two nap roller. You only need a somewhat thick nap if you wish to paint your rough surfaces. You should choose a paint roller with a 3 off 8 inch nap in this scenario. Suitability When it comes to painting houses, the ceilings and drywall are crucial components, and we need to make sure we use the right roller for the job. Because these pieces have such rough surfaces, the only roller that can work appropriately with them is a 3 off 8 inch paint roller. 1 slash 2 paint roller only works well with slightly fewer rough surfaces. We often use a roller with the smallest possible nap size when texturing and plastering a ceiling. These activities are ideally suited for use with a one-off two paint roller. Compatibility. The three-off eight paint roller and the one-off two paint roller that is supposed to be used are not the same. The three-off eight inch paint roller is ideal for use on interior walls and surfaces with a light roughness. At the same time, the roller with a half inch nap can be used on walls with a moderately rough surface brick that has been painted, concrete, and paneling. Besides, the 3 slash 8 paint roller tends to hold more paint than the 1 slash 2 paint roller. Price? When compared to the pricing of the 3 off 8 paint roller, the price of the 1 off 2 paint roller is slightly more expensive. You will pay no more than $4.42 for a 3 off 8 paint roller and $7.14 for a 1 off 2 paint roller. Time? When painting interior walls, Saving time is made more accessible by using a paint roller with a high holding capacity for a paint roller. People typically opt for a paint roller with a thickness of 3 off 8 because it can hold more paint in comparison with a 1 slash 2 paint roller. Overview You must know the difference between 3 slash 8 vs 1 slash 2 paint roller. They have different uses and they will give you the best user experience depending on which brand's product you are using. If you want to use the best budget-friendly paint rollers, consider going through my suggested rollers. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.